What's up, YouTube? Cards with Michael here. Today we have a set booster of Zendika Rising. Ah, I'm excited to open this guy. This one is for Blake. Thank you so much for sponsoring. I made it available last night, and Blake was the first one to agree to it. I only have one for the pre-release weekend, but I'll have a bunch come release. It'll be an exciting time, guys. Don't you worry at all. Um, these set boosters, of course, uh, are designed for opening, so I'm really excited as a YouTuber who opens Magic the Gathering booster packs. Um, and here we go. So, it is kind of like a master set box in the sense that it has this thing, but it's size-wise, it's actually the same as a booster box, um, in terms of this, uh, width, alright? And it does have this cool little nifty little thing. I'm sure I'll be recycling a lot soon. And it does have a box hopper. So it doesn't have that box hopper protection like uh, uh, the booster boxes. But uh, hey, you know, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and get opening. So set boosters, of course, have these chapters. You've seen it before. I'm not going to... Oh, that's a nice little start in art card. This is Nahiri, of course. We did open this borderless really recently. Link will come up here, but if you missed my booster box opening, go check it out. If you've already watched it and you watched it and now you're coming here, thank you so much for supporting my content. All right, so we do, it looks like we have some warriors for our first chapter here. Just kidding, we have rogues, wizards. Uh, I have no idea. No idea what the this first chapter was. It's supposed to be related commons and uncommons, but uh, okay. Here's our modal face card. Oops, oops, oops. All right, all right. Shaking a little, of course. Um, here's our another common Skyclave Geopede, all right. Legion Angel. So, so far, it just feels like a normal booster pack, but a foil, guaranteed foil, and come on. Oh my goodness. First card we get. This would be a token or an ad card, but today it's a card on the list, and it's a Monastery Mentor to start things off. Yeah, there's a reason why these are going to be more valuable than, than your normal booster packs all right how am i gonna do my piles i guess we'll do this we'll do list rares mythics and art cards because art cards are actually kind of cool a new kind of booster for those who want to just see what this booster looks like um won't read that you can just kind of take a peek here we go it's actually made in the u.s all right i actually thought these were going to be made in uh, belgium uh, that's why I thought there were so, so many issues, but I guess it's because they're made in the U.S., which is why there's so many issues. Interesting, some some of these art cards are actually the other direction. All right, so every single one has a land. Awesome. And we have our, I don't know what these are, wizards and rogues. <laughs> rogues and wizards. Blue, black, skyclad squid. All right, showcase art. Toss that to the side. Cleric. All right. Valakut Awakening. All right, all right. Nice little rare here. And a foil. Happens to be a foil rare, so this is a double rare pack. All right, all right. Phylath World Sculptor and a token. So normally, this is what you get. All right, just a to token. So that Monastery Mentor, that was a that was a treat. That's what we call in the biz a treat. A card from the list. Uh, it should appear about 25% of the time. So in this box, we're expecting seven to eight of them. Not exactly a ton. Uh, we'll talk about this when we get to it. All right, here we have our art card. Is that Aura? Is that Aura? Yeah, Aura. All right, our land. Our linked commons and uncommons. I don't know how the link works, but uh, okay. I guess we could play the game of trying to figure out what the heck these guys are supposed to be connected. I guess they're all just black cards. I, I, I'm not gonna get too deep into that today. It's whatever to me. I think it's kind of a novelty. It's a fun, but, uh, you know, I want the spice. Maddening cacophony. I love that word, by the way, cacophony. All right. Here we go. And disenchant is our foil. And, okay, so this is one of those cards that has kind of a mini game called Base Race. I'll let you just pause it and read how to play. I'm not really going to delve too much into it. I think it's fun as a novelty, but it doesn't seem that... Um, like that much playability. I read it a little bit about all the ones already. Uh, base race might be the most reading. <laughs> Full honesty. All right, was it the force? Yeah, even the force cards have an art card. I can't wait to collect the art cards of signature. I think 
Um, believe it or not, they are very going to be very collectible, and they they should actually be quite quite valuable. Given that each box literally might just have one, that's the kind of that's the kind of spice that people like to collect. Whether you like it or not, you got to give it to them. Wizards made a new collectible thing. Boom! Blood prices are foil, and boom! Hey, what the heck is this? Cradle guard. All right, that's an old one, guys. They're able to reprint everything, so you know, don't hold on to your expensive stuff because that stuff ain't gonna be expensive long. If you have cards that are not on the reserve list that are playable in multiple formats or especially in Commander, just keep that in mind. All right, all right, here we go. Got our commons and uncommons. I think we can kind of blister through these a little bit faster. Here we have Canopy Bailoth. All right, showcase card, put that to the side. Another Nectar Pot, sure. So there's a Landfall. Whoa. That's cool, guys. Another rare to the back. Oh, man, that art. Grim Climb Pathway. I'm a fan of this stuff, guys. I'm a fan. All right, we'll put the Borderless here. We haven't hit a Mythic yet. So when we get there, we'll get there. Another rare. And a Foil Spare Supplies. And a Plant Token. Sure, sure. Keep going. All right, on to the next. Oh, Omnath, Omnath Daddy. The most expensive showcase mythic right now is Omnath. In case you were wondering, in case you're just like, what is the one card I need to pull to get my value? That would be the card right this moment. Of course, the expeditions have their own tier of value, so that, that would be completely different. All right. And we'll keep going, keep going. Step boosters have this thing though with them that um, that is a little weird, and that is that, uh, hey, we did get one of Jace, and I hope I didn't miss any gold signatures. Whoa, we, okay, so some this is like, what, 5%? Like, it's like a low percent chance that this is a foil, and here we have it, we do have that foil. Put that to the side, and here we go. Commons and uncommons, so it looks like there's like a wizard rogue theme. I don't know. It's it's hard for me to figure it out, guys. Anyone else having a hard time figuring out the reason? The they're, they're, Some of these are supposed to be linked. All right. Uh, showcase card. Toss it to the side. Karg and War Leader. Cleric. Valicate Exploration. All right. Foil and a... Oh, yeah. We already knew that this was going to be it. Royal Royale. All right. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. On to the next, of course. What's this? Another art card. Schnazzy. All right. This is a warrior. That's a warrior. That's a warrior. That's a rogue. That's a rogue. Oh, I get it. The uncommons are linked. The commons are linked. Okay, I just figured that out. Another common warrior. And then, okay, so it's rogue warrior. That was the theme, hopefully. Another warrior rare. Chilling trap. And okay. All right, all right. What is this? This is just literally an ad card, really? You're just gonna put a straight up ad card in these? Come on. Give us more of the list. All right, what is this? Is this a planes? Yeah, just the planes, all right. Okay. Uh, ooh, ooh, I saw some spice there. To Drew Paragon. I think this card's gonna be really, really good. Um, no! <laughs> what are we gonna call him? Um, Om, um, Daddy. Right. Actually, you know, this guy. He might be. They might be genderless. All right. All right. Let's start a new category right here. And a foil showcase. Nice and gorgeous. And a little insect token. Okay. Party does not stop. We're only a third of our way opening this box. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. If you do, oh. Hello! We did get that gold border card. Ghostly signed this. Cool. Um, wow, it doesn't say that he signed it. It just says you, you can only see it on this side. Oh, that's really cool. I think these are going to be highly collectible. I'm talking like $10 of value right there. I could be wrong. It could be wrong. Depends on the rarity of them in terms of like actual rares, you know, like. Um, 
Wow, wait, another borderless planeswalker, Jace Mirror Mage. Mirror, mirror, mirror. Oh, man. Ah, that's the spice, guys. <laughs> really? Anoint your priest? Why would you make it to the list? I'd like to anoint someone else to be on the list, please. Thank you very much. All right. On to the next. Here we have another art card, of course. It's starting to remind me of Modern Horizons. Well, I guess it's exactly the same concept as Modern. Oh, Jerboa. That's my, that's my jam. Got some fully Jerboas in the house. All right. And Andu Inversion. We've seen this rare before. And a Spell Shield. Sure, sure. Boom. Drake. All right, all right. Hey, Drake. On to the next set booster. So far, this one has been pretty good. We get, we get that Jace, get that Omnath, got that art card. Mage action. Um, truly don't don't really know how to feel on some of the. Ooh, forgot I put the rare, put the rare in the wrong spot. Put that rare right there. Truly don't know how to feel about some of these because it's like you know values change so much. All right, so we got double rare in this pack, and ah, oh, that Angel Warrior token. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what the art! That is such good art! That feeling when um, your art is better on on uh, <laughs> tokens than, than actual cards. So this is an interesting little, like, it's a little off-center. It's not by a lot, but you can kind of see where it was supposed to be cut, you know? And, uh, yeah, it, it's clearly it's a little off-center, so. All right. Here we go. On to the next. So it's good to see that this last card is a magic back. Now that I think about it, that means that we're getting a card from the list. What is this? Murkwater Pathway by Johannes Vest. Hey, a foil. All right, all right. Sign me up for the foil. And what is this? We got some clerics. Clerics. Okay. That that one was a little bit easier to understand. Clerics. Zandu. Nectar. Pot, all right, sure, sure, and thieving skydiver, territorial skycath, <laughs> Ubenwald mysteries, all right. So yeah, you know I should have done a video on the the list, uh, but I can tell you some of my thoughts. Let me tell you the the headline that I would have made, and that is the list equals treasure chests equals nothing's ever safe from a reprint ever again. Now, it used to be things were safe because of timing. Like, you would know, like, Wizards can only release certain amounts of reprint product every cycle. And so you had an opportunity to do your specs and your, your profits and losses and all that goody stuff um, within that time frame. All right. Now, Wizards can reprint anything, anytime. All right. That is the main headline with this, the list. And they have the technology to do so, and they can do it. The frame doesn't even matter. They can reprint the same frame. Um, as a courtesy, they are adding the Planeswalker symbol to these older cards. So that does kind of help so that your original, your OGs, aren't like, you know, depreciating in value a lot when they do this on the list. And the list doesn't necessarily mean that your cards are going to be impacted. Oh, a triple rare pack. Look at that. Classical Mimic Verizon, aka Verizon. Um... The thing is, nothing is safe anymore. And usually you get like a timing, you get advanced notice. Oh, that art is so gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, but nowadays, nope. The answer is nope. You don't get that time timing. Your cards are any release that could be reprinted. Um, doesn't matter how old they are. As long as they're not the reserve list. Heck, even if they're on the reserve list, I don't know anymore, guys. I just don't know. But here we go. Lightning Crafter. Champion of Goblin or Shaman? Okay, <laughs> I've never seen this card in my life. Also, never opened Morning Tide in my life, so that helps. All right, so that's not going to be on the list. We have a Booster Sleuth. Oh, that's cool. Cool. What is this? We claimed the waste. Definitely did not appreciate that art when we were looking at it earlier. A Kindy Ox. All right. Hey, a Pathway. Normal Pathway. Green, red. All right. All right. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. A foil rare, nimble trap finder, schnazzy as well, and yes, the booster sleuth game. I like just kind of 
pause the video and read all this text. It's a lot of text. I tried to understand each of the games earlier, and it is like, I don't know. They weren't as intuitive for me as I could imagine, so. Okay, what is the list? All right. Hey, this is the rebuilding of the Seagate. This is where that epic battle was, and uh, much, much was destroyed, so they had to rebuild it. Makes sense. Ah, Florahedron, hello. All right, here we go. Magmatic channeler all right and yeah, just a normal foily boy all right we're coming about halfway through two-thirds of the way through this video what's this what is this celestial colonnade the expeditions have art cards too oh my gosh i didn't know that that is super cool oh that that's actually awesome i want i want i want them all but now i want the the art cards with a gold signature, um, signed, of course, by the artist uh, for the expeditions. That is now my new thing. I didn't realize that those were possible. But now that I know, oh man, I'm excited. This is gonna be a new era of collectability. Um, I didn't think I'd be this excited, but that, that was truly gorgeous, that art. Let's take a peek at it again. Where did I put it? Celestial Colony. I love it. And of course, we do have... I thought this was Thought Seeds at first. <laughs> All right. Okay, here comes our double rare. A foil. Same thing. This is a little... Just kidding. This one's actually fine. And a Hashep Oasis. Okay. All right. I guess they're flexing their muscles. They're like, we can reprint new stuff. We can reprint old stuff. We can get Dr. Seuss to, to write us a, a, a story rap. Like, you know. Hey, that's super cool. Super cool. All right, old stuff, new stuff, rare stuff, mythical stuff. You can see the view count just starting to decrease as I try to make a Dr. Seuss <laughs> book about wizard's reprint policy. All right, all right. Oh, look at that. Nissa, beautiful. And a foil forest, all right. Here we go. Zandu Mammoth Showcase. Oh, yes. That is what we want to see, guys. The fact that the showcase cards can come like this. It's because only landfall cards have showcase, and then this is a landfall card that's also a tap land. Not too many of these. In fact, I don't even know if there's another one of these. A foil inscription. All right. And, okay, a pure ad card. Womp, womp. Those are my least favorite. Pure ad cards. Token? Okay, fine. Usable. The, the game, learn how to play Booster Sleuth or whatever usable the pure ad cards are like dude like we don't need ads in these these products we, we've seen wow another ley line tyrant coming in our third mythic shadows verdict all right so yeah i think this product is ooh, that's a lot of nostalgia sky hussar to draw cards adventure awaits once again i i said some good things about this in my last box opening i'm not very high on that card it just oh, oh 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 wow that's super cool i know some of you guys don't like this but i'm a fan guys come on be a fan with me this is so cool second art card oh man all right here ooh, i forgot we did get a foil land in here all right throne of mckindy sure and a foil. We'll do a count of you know all the totals at the end of this, um, just to get a feel. So you know, once again, every single pack has a rare and a foil guaranteed. Um, think of these as like collector booster light, with the art card being the real card and the list being the two differences that you can't get anywhere else. Another inscription, of course, the green one had to get instant speed. That's gorgeous. Oh, okay, got a little excited there, but it's just a foil common showcase. And of course, another game called Strictly Better. Okay, I'm gonna let you just pause and read that. <laughs> yeah, some of them are a little bit sillier than others. At least that one's easy to understand. All right. Here we go. Oh, so that's the same one, just no artist. Oh no, this is different. This is a. Uh... Wait, what? Wait, can you guys tell? 
wait a moment, this is so cool. Not only is it signed, but it's slightly different. Can you guys see that? The art is like more intricate. Oh, oh, I'm a fan. Oh man, that rhymes again and again. Whoa, a showcase rare. <laughs> I'm a fan of this too. I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of this. A little insect token. All right. So that that's no, the foiling's pretty good to be honest. All right, not going to complain about that foiling. All right, my piles are a little messy. All right. So we got four packs left. What have we learned? Two art cards, a bunch of rares. Uh, oh, perfect. We can compare again. Let's see that compares. Oh my gosh. Guys, it, it's truly different. It's lighter. It might just be a different print. That is cool. I got to do, I gotta do a, a tweet about that. That's super cool. Brush fire elemental. Oh my gosh. I'm going to get beat down by this so, so often. I can I already feel my life total. My life total, my total life total has already decreased just knowing that card existed, exists. All right. Here we have a scoot swarm. Love it. Another you know, double mythic, a double rare pack. The royal mage. All right, all right. Love it as well. And a little illusion. <laughs> you guys watch uh, rest of development. Michael, it's an illusion. Of course, I sympathize with Michael. As a Michael with a dysfunctional family, I salute you. And Job. I resonate with him too. In some ways, I am a Job. Hey, what is this? Hammer Mage, Hammer Time. Let's got a card from your hand. Okay, all right. That's <laughs> one of the spell shapers. Of course, all of them had that discard for a, a spell like effect. Um, not a bad one. Not a bad one. It's cool that you can pay one man to discard zero and destroy a lot of moxes and stuff. Obviously, that's too slow for any real constructed format, but still. Schnazzy is schnazzy. All right, here we go. Forsaken Monument, whoa! One of the better mythics, of course. This mythic is one of those, you should buy into this if you want to speculate it, if it ever gets low. I don't know if it's gonna get low. Well, Demon's Disciple, foil, <laughs> and a Goblin Construct. All right, the last pack. And then we get to the box, copper. So I think mythic-wise, not as many mythics as I thought we would pull. That's, that's you know pure honesty, right there. Um, I was hoping we'd pull at least the amount of mythics that we pulled in our booster box, which I think was five, maybe even six. Uh, but we did get a bunch more rares. Mind drain and a bunch of cool cards. So let's go over. Uh, actually, let's open the, uh, open the expedition before we get too far into this. 23 minutes on this video. All right. Improvement. Okay. Okay. Improvement. Boom. Wasteland. Look at that. Adam Paquette. All right, so um, I think the biggest finding is that these are just slightly different guys. These are slightly different art, uh, or just a little bit lighter. I think that's the biggest find that I've realized. Um, and the other thing is the sheer mythic count isn't as high. Uh, we only got four mythics. We did get a borderless Jace. Ah, it's exciting. Uh, Omnath is probably the most valuable mythic, and Leyland Tyrant, one of the biggest hitters. So quality mythics, not bad. Um, let's count just pure number of rares. All right, let's make sure these are rares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 rares. Okay, so 30 rares for Mythics. Almost similar to a booster box, actually. So I think... Wait, no, no, no. I'm sorry. There's some foil rares. Let me go snap them. 30 rares, one foil rare. Oops, got a whole booster pack stuck in here. <laughs> Oopsies. Oops, daisies. All right. Uh, there are two rares, two being foil. I think there's one last one I missed. Okay, 33 rares. Four mythics. Still got that expedition. So yeah, I don't know. Oh wait, no, no, no. <laughs> hold on. Got some more, more rares. My bad, guys. My bad, my bad. Oh my god, and this rare right here. This uh, borderless rare. Bright Climb Pathway. Rare. 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 All right, so I'll let you guys be the judge. All right. Uh, I think these art cards are going to be worth a ton. Or not a ton, but just more than you think. There's only one or two per box is the gist I'm getting. Um, 30 non-foil rares. 
plus three, plus three of those, plus three of these. So 37 rares in total, uh, four mythics and an expedition, and a bunch of fun other cards. So, uh, you know, if you really want to count rares, you can count this Monastery Mentor is another mythic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards from the list. Yeah, I'll let you guys be the judge. Are these worth it? Mm, jury's still out. I can't give you guys a complete Michael stamp of approval in terms of value. I'm seeing these at 150 on TCG. I don't think they should be worth that much. But you know, 120, that would be kind of my range. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, please. We'll be doing a collector box opening tonight. Uh, hope you guys can catch that as well. Subscribe if you want to see that. Um, you know, live right with